Our studios used to be a, a, a paintball field. So there would be like, a, like small barriers and stuff and you would have paint, paint guns and you could shoot each other. And, and those paint gun balls, they're made of color and, and pig's fat or grease. So everywhere on the walls, there were these like big chunks of dried out pig's fat and paint everywhere. So it was kind of a place where you could go with your, uh, with your business and, and get acquainted by shooting each other with paint guns and, and rent the space for a while. And there would be some techno music probably and some lasers in the in the in the mid 90s and you would run, run around with a mask shooting each other before i went into studying art i was making stuff for television and for film um, and i think perhaps my entrance point to art was more from documentary and from experimental film I think for me, my, in my work with contemporary art, I, I get the possibility to, to, to work with a, a big passion I have, which is cinema, but to work with it critically in a way where I can question it while actually doing it. In, in a newer work I just produced in, in Berlin called The Adaptation, Nothing Melancholy About Us, um, a big part of it is based on, on a Sartrean novel about the Second World War and I think it is, very, it is a scene very much set up as a costume drama uh, with uh, six actors in, in French uh, World, Second World War uniforms. Um, but the whole, as the scene plays out, it's kind of it's kind of taken apart, a and 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 in the shot you will see the tracks from the cinema machine or from the whole film crew, and even some of the actors are wearing GoPro cameras. So you also see crew members walking uh, walking with the camera past them and so on. And I think that idea of breaking up cinema for me is possible inside cinema, but with contemporary art, it, it, it becomes for me at least even more possible to, to split the screens and split the time and split that time again into new raptures of time and create more of a, a strange cloud of, of time moments um, put together into a film again. <laughs> For me, it's, it's, it's about enacting, not reenacting, but enacting a moment together. Um, there is this, I like this word uh, called autosymbolization. It's a tricky word, but, but it's not that tricky actually, because it's all, it, it, it kind of just means self-symbolization. And I think that's what we all do right now in this moment. I am symbolizing an artist. I am an artist, but I'm not creating art right now. I am just performing an artist as if I was a queen to be crowned. I would not be a queen in that moment. I would be a queen that is crowned for a ceremony, as would the people be auto symbolizing themselves as people. And I think for me, when I work with cinema, that's kind of what happens. So sometimes people are actors. Sometimes in Cairo, I was told they were actors and not all of them were actors. And some I knew weren't actors. And some of the ones that weren't actors were better actors than the actors and so on. Um, but it's very much about, about entering the ritual of making the work on the same level, everybody. So I'm also auto symbolizing myself as a director. Peter is poor, said noble Paul, and I have always been his friend. Awkwardness often appears in my things because they're just not thought through. Um, and, and, and I have deliberately not taken that last moment to think it over and I think that makes it, for me at least, much more fun to work with. And maybe also, I have no idea, maybe also more fun to watch because you can point to the awkward thing and actually be a part of it yourself. 
In this new work, there is a monkey saying this um, this poem, and it and it, and it bothers me a lot. But the monkey is there, and and um, and, and and I think that saying goes for many of my works. The monkey is there, and it's put there very early on, and it's it's not just possible to take it out because then it would be boring. It would, might be correct. I think it would be very correct to take it out. Um, but it it wouldn't it wouldn't create that third space or to to quote uh, the PlayStation 2 uh, um, uh, commercials. But it, it it I think the the it creates this third space. I choose very much after what the work is about and what and what kind of feeling I have about it. I think. There's, for me, there's a big difference of doing a work in Cairo or in Berlin than to do it here in Copenhagen because I am an outsider and, and I have to find a way to let the space I'm in do its thing because I can't control that. We were in Verdun at the, from, uh, at the trenches from the First World War because uh, as a part of the film is this uh, monster truck uh, driving in the trenches of First World War with a GoPro camera on it. Um, and as we were driving to find these trenches, which was proved kind of difficult, um, we saw this young kid uh, practicing his rollerblade dance in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a basketball field. And it was the most awkward dance because it was very. It was he. He had he. He was a young teenager, but he uh, twelve years, and he looked like any other teenager. But he has these like swan-like feminine moves to his uh, kind of roller skating dance that really made it fit nowhere. And we stopped the car, and, and I asked him if I could film him. Um, in he was only speaking French, so it was a difficult conversation. But he understood in the end, and we filmed him dancing it. And just to have that material meant that it had to be in the work or at least in the space so it's on a third screen there's this kid dancing his roller bait dance because he was there and he is dancing on top of of maybe the biggest battlefield of, of uh, world war one where millions of people died and he is where the work might be about history uh, and different versions of history different wars and those wars connected with cinema he is about time in itself because he's a little loop. Even he has his iPod on, so he's he's even not in the world. He's just in the space of time, and he does these small small twirls on his rollerblades, and and it's the it's the same loop as the iPod and him his ears, and 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 he is just time. He's he's n he's he's nowhere near going to be the future, and he's not the past, and and he's not even present in the moment. Uh,